Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Mini Motorways, but it's not as you know it. I'm literally playing this wherever I want to because it's just released on the Nintendo Switch and the guys at Dinosaur Polo Club have very, very generously offered to sponsor this video, which means not only do we get to play more Mini Motorways, which is never a bad thing, but we also get to see all the new stuff. So yeah, you'll notice this, all, all these scores, they're on, they're on zero. However, this is what is awesome. If you go into options, you can come down to here, the cross save if you have played this on Steam, you can import your Steam data. How cool is that? Now also, people, they, they like to play this in night mode. So let's turn on night mode and check this out. Ready? Can you see the cars? They have headlights. They have headlights now. <laughs> I don't know why that's so cool, but it is. So I've just added my previous Steam data and look, we've got all of our levels, all of our scores. And you'll notice at the end here, this Switch launch has also brought a new update, the Night Lights update, where we've got Warsaw and Chiang Mai. So let's give Warsaw all a go. So here we are. If you've never played this before, let me explain. You can build roads like that. It's actually quite nice with the Joy-Con, not gonna lie. I was a little concerned it might be a bit tricky, but um oh yeah, you just use you just use B to delete as well. But yes, you essentially need to draw roads from your houses to your shops. Because yes, whilst that might look like a slice of bread, it's actually a shop. And that is an upside down shopping bag. This person in his car with his headlights on, he needs to come collect that. And when he does, top right, we get points. Right, this is not not ideal though because we've just had a greeny blue color spawn and ideally you sort of you want to keep your traffic unmerged so to the person that wasn't a highway engineer for 10 years this would probably be the solution that you'd go for here however look we've got a crossroads in the middle which is fine when there's no traffic but occasionally we're going to get to points where the traffic is going to increase and they're all going to be waiting for each other it's not going to be ideal probably like now yep oh <laughs> That was a near miss. So what I sort of learned in this game is you need to delete any crossing points and you need to segregate your traffic. So green cars, they come down here and they do that. So now when we press play, there's no chance of any traffic. And then at the end of the week, we get an upgrade to pick from. We can pick a bridge and 20 road tiles or a roundabout and 20 road tiles. Now over on the left, you can see that shows the number of tiles remaining. We have 12 and it shows the upgrades we have. We already have a bridge. However, I can sort of see blurred in the background. There's quite a lot of river on this map. So I'm going to take another bridge and the 20 road tiles. Uh, and then we're going to pause quickly because look, our square slice of bread has turned into a round loaf. And you know what that means? It's an IMAX cinema. Yes, screen sizes have increased and everyone wants to go see the latest film. So we're going to connect this house in. And basically these round buildings, they just have a higher demand. I mean, obviously they're showing IMAX films. Look at the size of the screen. Oh, and that was a very nice spawn. So this bluey green color has spawned on my road, thankfully. So I can just grab this house and connect it in there. Oh, look at that. We are all connected. Isn't that lovely? Now, there is a slight downside here. So as you'll notice, cars, they have to go into this supermarket, but some have to go past it to get to this one over here. Now, this creates a conflict point. Now, there is a technique I have learnt on my journey as a highway engineer. It's called extreme segregation. It's where we only have the houses connect to the buildings they want to go to. So for example, I could remove any traffic from there by deleting all of this, slightly adjusting this road to go like that. And then I can take this blue one over to there, meaning these two houses are connected to the top supermarket and these two are connected to the bottom one, meaning there's no clash anymore. Uh, next up on the left, we've got we got a new shop and we have, oh yeah, we're going to need a bridge. We're going to need a bridge. So from this house, we're going to go straight across and then sort of over that way. And then you can see we've created a bridge and cars can leave there, drive over the water to their destination. We've also got two more houses in here. I guess I should probably connect these up to there. I'm not sure if one house is enough to satisfy this supermarket. There's a lot of upside down shopping bags that they're going to have to collect. I may need to connect one of these orange houses in. And it's week two. We get to pick another upgrade. We can do roundabout or traffic lights. I might go with a roundabout for now. So that goes over there. You can see on the left we have one roundabout. I think we have two bridges remaining. Oh, and look at this. This shop has upgraded to an IMAX as well. So you get to pick. Would you rather 
rather go to the orange IMAX or the bluey green IMAX? Both the screens are so big. Oh, we've also got three houses over here. We might have to use two bridges to get over to the IMAX because I'm pretty sure two houses aren't enough to satisfy that demand. So let's hit pause and let's see what we can do. We can connect all these together. Let's put a bridge in over here. There you go. Now we've connected these three houses in. It's just a case of do I keep these two connected? I could actually lose all of that road because I think three houses is enough to satisfy an IMAX. We'll have to see how we get on. But it's worth noting we have no bridges left. So a little bit sketchy. The next upgrade, if we can get a bridge, I'll try and get another one. Oh my, we've just had some purple spawn. Okay, so purples, I think we're going to go up and around with you. So as before, the idea is segregation. Keep all the colors separate. This cuts down on your traffic. It lets you get high scores. And look at that. It's the end of week three. We get to pick the bridge. That's what we want. And there we go. We're looking in a pretty good situation, I think. We got 32 road tiles left. We've got 85 points. I'm feeling pretty relaxed about this new level. So much so, I'm going to fast forward using the right bumper. And we're up to 100 points. Triple digits. Oh, but slow down, Matt. Slow down. We've just had a new IMAX. So that's four houses connected to this IMAX. Oh, and now five because another one spawned. Oh, no. And our nemesis, the slice of bread has just spawned. Ah, <laughs> but thankfully, week four, we get the most incredible of upgrades. It's the motorway. And if anyone's watched me play this before, they'll know my actual name is Motorway Matt. I love a motorway. So let's bung that in. Let's hit pause. And what we're going to do, we're going to make a little slice of bread area down here. So you bread house, you go down. And you can see on the left, this is our motorway. It's a shield. So we can grab this. We can plonk it by that house. And then we can grab from there and say, go up to the slice of bread. Nice. And now when we press play, this is a motorway. It literally goes over everyone. We can boing this if we want to and all sorts. Oh no, hang on. Let's pause again. Let's pause again. <laughs> oh, we've had apple colored spawn. What are we going to do with that? I think for now, we'll just connect these bread guys into a little bread estate. Oh, Okay, I tell you what, I tell you what, I might have to delete that motorway already. So motorway, you're gone. You can see it's it's light coloured in because there's still cars that have to use it. So it's technically there, but it will get deleted. What we're going to do, we're going to delete this road here. And this is going to be the new bread road. All right, and then hopefully you should be able to see what I've done. I've sort of made the bread go through this gap in the middle, uh, meaning now I've got my motorway back. So if we hit pause again, we can connect these apple people via this apple coldy sack I've just made all the way over the top to the green shop. Although that does look like a moldy slice of bread. Maybe that's what we'll call it. We got normal slice of bread over there. We got moldy slice of bread here. They're no longer apple people. So that's good. I can move this motorway out the way just to see what's going on underneath. Uh, the downside is we've now got this purple and we need a bridge to get over there. Oh no, disaster. Unfortunately, we're going to have to start merging colors, I think. So if we take this purple guy onto the bread road, and then because we don't have a bridge, we're going to have to use a bridge that already exists. Probably this one here. So if we make Make this purple guy come off there, go onto that road, then use this bridge and then go up into there. Oh man, that's not good. We probably need to take an extra purple house as well. So I'll take that one straight down. All right, and then we're good to go. This is quite annoying. I'm not going to lie. We've completely ruined the segregation we had going, but we're up to 200 points and our slice of bread is now a slice of baguette. Oh man, we've just had we've just had two things spawn and it's not good. It is not good for what we want to achieve. We got more moldy bread next to the purple and we've got houses over there. Let's hope we get a bridge. Oh, we've got a motorway. We'll take a motorway. Woo. Okay, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? I might get rid of this bridge and that road, disconnect the bread people there, and then grab a motorway from over here, shove it sort of in the middle, and then take that up to the baguette because if I let that play a little bit, there you go. We've got a bridge back, which means we can do a bridge over here. And look, we've connected all those greens up. It looks like we've made a toothbrush, but in fact, we've made a bad situation, a good one, because I think we're back on track now. Oh, and if you haven't played this before and you're wondering how do you lose the game? Well, if you don't make enough journeys, if these upside down shopping bags rack up too much, you'll get an alarm appear. And if you don't reduce the amount in time, it's game over. Oh, look at this. We've got more bread spawn up there. Really game? I've got no bridges. Ugh. Okay, okay, okay. So ideally, we just have a bridge go up there, but we can't. So what if we connect these red people up like that? So they can join this road now, and then we can bypass that guy's house, and then they can use this road, this bridge. Then we have sort of 
fix that. Oh, and we just had an orange over here. What are you doing over there? Oh, the game has been kind, though. It's offered us a motorway. Yes, please. Motorway Matt says yes. So let's hit pause and think about what we're going to do. I guess we could do the world's most pointless motorway over to this house. I mean, this guy literally has his own private motorway to the shop. All right, this purple is now an IMAX. They've got two IMAX cinemas. They are dominating the IMAX scene. So we just need to be careful of that. I think we got enough purples. We've got like a group of purples connected down here. This traffic is going to get bad though. There's way too many houses connected. Uh, we need to bypass this village basically. Uh, week seven, roundabout or traffic lights. We haven't used traffic lights yet and I think now we've got so many like junctions and merging of stuff. Traffic lights will actually be useful. Right, right. Let's hit pause. Let's hit pause because we've just had a green spawn down there. I might take these purples and the reds like away from this supermarket so if we take them down here we can then disconnect a lot of these green houses and then all these greeny blue ones they can come in that way because if we ignore this bright green house the moldy house you can see we've actually we've like made a bypass now so these two green supermarkets they're just connected to those ones and then the purple and the bread they come all the way around all the way up to there all right so at the top we've had another moldy slice of bread spawn so we're gonna take that over the top get out of the way screen. Uh, now, this is something you need to be aware of. If you were to connect that like that, this isn't just a drive for that guy because it's longer than one tile. We've actually made a junction there. So if you were to watch a car drive past it, you'll notice it slows down and then goes fast. So what we want to do, we want to delete that. We want to make the road actually go up past it because as long as your drives are short you'll notice as cars drive past them now they'll be going full speed they don't slow down for drives all right week eight we're definitely taking a bridge we could probably use that to try and fix some stuff actually now first off what i'm thinking perhaps we could lose motorway three and use that somewhere more sensible so if we take this road up here instead you see now we've connected to this orange house but we've saved a motorway so the question is where do we put the motorway i think we've got to get these bridges red people up to there maybe is that the best thing to do because then it will make these purples faster oh but that's not good this orange bread has just turned into an imax and we've only got one house connected oh gay why'd you do this to me I still think motorwaying the bread up to there is a good idea. So I'm going to do that because then we can delete that road. And then what I can do, I can take these oranges onto this road. They should drive through this supermarket. And if we do like a straight road over to that, that's the bridge for the orange, which goes to the IMAX. Hopefully that will work. I'm not sure if what I said makes sense. Yeah, but let's just press play and let things do their thing thing and it's the end of another week where we can take a bridge yes uh, first off top right we've got a new moldy slice of bread so i'm just going to connect like those guys in there i guess because now we've just extremely segregated them so they're into two sets of greens All right week 10 we can go with more traffic lights i'm going to take the bridges though i think they're super useful on this level now you can see we're well over a thousand points now and uh, nothing too major no fires to put out yet oh a cheeky orange in there i think we'll take you straight across because look this IMAX is filling up a bit. It's got four shopping bags. So another house is definitely going to help. Yeah, traffic in the middle isn't great. I want, can I even fit a roundabout? I don't think it will fit. No, not at all. A roundabout can't be placed here. But look, it's the end of another week and we've been given another motorway. Yes, please. We can use that to help make the network a bit more efficient. All right, we've got a bit of an issue here. It's a bread situation. It's full. We've got our first alarm. Let's add an extra house from over there. I mean, both the baguettes aren't looking good. We don't really have any spare houses. There's one there. I mean, he's sort of in no man's land. I don't think I can get him involved. Okay, come on alarm. Go down. Yes, we got rid of the alarm. We're okay. We're doing okay. No need to panic. We've got another motorway as well. We've now got two motorways in the locker. Right. I might pause and think of a better way to do this level. Oh, because that has changed everything. We've just got a slice of bread spawn next to the moldy baguette and we're already having trouble with baguettes. Oh dear, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? I mean, realistically, I should just be able to, like, come across there. I mean, if we wanted to remove the conflict completely, this is probably sensible, actually. We can just take a road around the back. So if we connect that in there, delete that section. Yeah, I think that's a lot more sensible. I might save my motorways for now until I can work out 
if the bread situation is sorted. Because what we might have to do, we might just need a separate motorway. And look, it's week 13. We've got another motorway. We are going to be good. So if we pause, we can choose to select a load of houses. If we leave like those four going that way, we can delete that and then take these ones up and around the top. Pretty much like that. I've just ruined all of those. <laughs> I've literally ruined all of those houses. They've got like a freeway on top of their house now. But if I delete these roads up here, we have well and truly made that better, I think. Motorway 4 should be a direct route to the IMAX. All right, there you go. You can see the traffic flying along the motorway. It's way quicker than normal roads. And we've still got two motorways left. I'm feeling pretty confident because look, we're about to hit 2,000 points. Oh, but oh no, we've just got another slice of bread. All right, the question is, do we go it alone or do we try and if we move this like out the way a bit? No, I tell you what, I'm not going to be clever. I'm just going to, I'm going to do a motorway up to that slice of bread. Let's not overcomplicate this. Okay, so I think we've got over the bread situation. We still got a motorway remaining. We've got a roundabout and traffic lights. Now, I'm literally not seeing traffic jammed anywhere, so I'm not going to bother with traffic lights at the moment. Uh, we will take another bridge, though. They are always useful. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. Right, that's it. Pause. We've got we've got alarms down here. What is going on? Why are they alarmed suddenly? We're going to disconnect this one. We're going to delete that road there and then we're going to add a motorway six to come down like that yes we've ruined those guys orange houses but we've extreme segregated those let's move that house that way there you go now they got four that should be fine they got four each hopefully we can get rid of those two alarms oh god that's looking quite sketchy actually all right this one is building up Vast. I don't know how to get rid of that. We don't have any more houses. Oh no, it's all hit the fan. It's all hit the fan. It's not going well. Oh, week 15, traffic lights. Let's grab some traffic lights. Maybe I need to put some of those in. Like this bit in the middle under that motorway is pretty carnage. I just don't know if traffic lights will make it worse or better. Let's try traffic lights there anyway, just to try and save this green because, oh, look at the alarm. It's not good at all. Uh, it's really not good. Where is, where is everyone? I don't have a motorway. I can't save this. I do have a bridge. It might be too little too late. But what if we connect those two houses in? Is that too little too late? Come on. There's four cars leaving. Can they get in in time? Yes. Oh, look how close that alarm is. <laughs> Come on. Oh, no, I think we're dead. I think... No, we're good. Come on. Oh, wow. It's actually... It's going down. Oh, I've actually saved it. I saved it. Oh, we might hit 3,000 points. That's pretty decent, I think. It's the end of another week. We've actually got another motorway. We may have saved the day. Okay, I've just added a few more moldy cars to this motorway four because that top left one, it was getting a bit a bit full up. This one in the middle is completely fine now. It's like there's nothing on it. But I do have the option of connecting these two houses with a motorway over to there if we need to. Let's save the motorway for emergencies. All right, end of week 17. We are lasting quite a long time on this. Let's get some more traffic lights. All right, okay, I see I see where there could be an issue. This orange IMAX in the middle, it's only got two houses connected to it. I guess what we could do and probably should do is just connect a motorway over that because then we can connect all of these oranges and even these oranges back here if we need to. So they're all connected up. You can see people are using motorway seven, although now that purple in the middle has decided to balls up. I'm actually going to get rid of this bridge and those houses. I think they're cocking it all up. You can see the motorway is like jammed up under there. Uh, ah, we've got, we've got purple alarm. Oh, I knew I should have used the motorway for the purples. I'll tell you what we can do. I don't think we have time, but once this bridge is gone, we can literally bridge across there. Let's see if we have time. Basically, we've just got to separate the blues and the purples. Come on, bridge. Use up. Yes, right. Pause. Okay. You can see this bridge here is completely rammed of two types of traffic. Now, if we put a roundabout in, let's say there, we should be able to delete all of this road with the bridge and everything. And then from this green, go straight across into the roundabout. If we then try and make it so this bridge is just for purples, which I guess we could do by moving it down here to connect in there so we literally i think we just want to delete that so the bridge is gone so these greeny blues they connect into the roundabout i think that would be better it's just whether we can get the traffic there in time i think this has died oh it's died we couldn't get the traffic there in time too few cars could reach this destination your city shut down after 126 days uh, i'll tell you what though shall we see how we did in the leaderboards but yeah you can see 3700 that's actually pretty good compared to my other scores not as good as rio definitely not as good as manila but on the leaderboard we are <gasps> we're top we're top we're the best at something i'm the best in the world at this level granted it's only been out like 12 hours 
but I'm the best. <laughs> And we've also unlocked challenges for that, one of which is called Building Bridges. All right, but anyway, guys, go check out Mini Motorways yourself. It's on Switch now, finally, so you can play it in the toilet, you can play it on the plane, you can play it wherever you want. And remember, it's cross-save, so if you have played it on Steam, you can just play it on Switch and carry on your progress, which is literally what I just did. Anyway, thank you so much, Dinosaur Protocol, for sponsoring today's video. Massively appreciate your support of the channel, as always. And I'll say peace, love, and motorway mat. Bye, guys.